I'm glad you came. I ate them. That's right. <laughs> I ate the divorce papers, Charles. <laughs> I ate them with ketchup. <laughs> and they were good. They were good. You probably want me to be serious about our divorce. The thing is, you always called our marriage a joke. So, let's use logic here. If A, we never had a serious marriage, then B, we cannot have a serious divorce. <laughs> That's funny. You're a funny guy, Charles. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're about to give up on a woman who's infinitely lovable. For instance, Paul. He has loved me since the eighth grade. Sure, he's a little creepy. But he really loves me. He he's made 147 passes at me, proposed 47 times, and wrote over 200 original love sonnets. He sees something in me, Charles. And he writes it down in metered verse. That's not something you just find every day. Someone who really loves everything about who you are as a person. I would never ask him to sign his name to a piece of paper promising to just turn off his feelings for me forever, but that's what you're asking me to do for you. To sign away my right to... That sweet voice, Charles. Those baby brown eyes. The way your hands feel through my hair before bed. Those aren't things I want to lose. In fact, I won't lose them. I won't lose you. I'll woo you. I've written you a sonnet. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds to shake the darling buds of May and... crying <laughs> I'm laughing <laughs> It's all a big joke <laughs> It's very funny Charles <laughs> I keep waiting for you to say April fools and and then I'll rush into your arms
but you're not going to. He didn't really write this. Paul did. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> you see, the truth, the truth is that I ate the divorce papers, Charles. ate them. Because I can't stomach the thought of losing you. <laughs> <laughs> 